premium economy has been increasing in popularity, especially in the last few years. That's why we'll go through the top three premium economy class airlines in 2024. Starting with number three, Air France. This is Air France Standard Economy Class. And this is Air France Premium Economy Class. In 2023, Air France was voted the best airline in Western Europe. So I'm expecting quite something for the upgraded price of premium economy. But what exactly makes Air France Premium Economy worth it? Let's take a look and see whether the upgrade is worth it or not. As a premium economy passenger flying Air France, you start to enjoy the perks right from the ground. All premium economy passengers on Air France can use the Sky Priority Premium check-in areas at their designated airport. In other words, you are allowed to make use of the premium check-in lane that business class passengers and Sky Team Elite flyers also use. Sky Priority lanes are also extended to security checkpoints, customer service counters and transfer desks, and customs inspection lines at many airports. The advantage of this is that you don't get to join the long queue waiting till it's your turn. In just 5 to 10 minutes, you are done with the check-in process and already holding your boarding pass. One thing I can assure you is that Air France will often give you that seamless check-in experience so you won't be stressed before your long-haul flight. However, Air France does not provide their premium economy passengers with lounge access. The lounge is restricted to business class passengers, Sky Team Elite plus passengers, and travelers with Sky Team status. However, premium economy passengers can purchase a day pass to the airline's lounges at their designated airports. The prices for this upgrade are not usually published in advance and may vary depending on your airport. Another advantage of flying Air France's premium economy is the airline's baggage allowance. All premium economy passengers are allowed two personal items, one carry-on bag and one checked bag weighing up to 50 pounds. Economy passengers, on the other hand, are only allowed one personal item, one smaller carry-on bag and one checked bag. As part of the Sky Priority benefits, your luggage is tagged with the yellow Air France Sky Team Priority Bags tags, which means your baggage will be handled with care and will be among the first to come out upon reaching our destination. Premium economy passengers are also granted priority boarding. Of course, after the first and business class passengers have boarded the plane. Now that we've discussed what you'll get before you fly, it's high time I'll discuss what Air France's premium economy on air looks like. Let's start with the seating. When Air France debuted its premium economy in 2009, the premium economy cabin was the first to experience fixed shell seats. Sadly, 14 years after its introduction, the seat is still in use on most Air France international aircraft today. The shell seat is a seat that slides down and forward within the space of the seat, unlike other seats that recline into the space of the seat behind. While shell seats offer a bit of privacy, in the sense that nobody reclines to your space, many travelers do not find them comfortable and have trouble getting sleep on them. Another step you can take is to ensure that you fly the airline's new Airbus A350. This aircraft features the traditional reclining seat, including a footrest and leg rest. The seating arrangement, seat pitch, seat recline, seat width, and screen size depend on the aircraft you are flying. For example, if you are flying Air France's Boeing 787, you should expect a 232 seating arrangement as opposed to the 333 seating configuration in the economy. The seat pitch in premium economy is 40 inches, while you only get 31 inches in the economy class. 9 inches is a lot for an upgrade if you ask me. The seat recline in this aircraft is 8 inches, and you only get 5 inches in the economy class. The seat width in the airline's premium economy class is 19 inches, whereas you get 17 in the economy class. While this may not look like a lot, keep in mind that business class passengers only get 20 inches of seat pitch. In other words, you get a seat pitch better than the economy and something very close to the business class. In conclusion, the extra 9 inches of legroom and 2 inches of seat width compared to what you get in the economy class will definitely make the premium economy seats feel more spacious than coach seats. If you are flying any of the airline's Boeing 777s, expect a 242 seating arrangement and a 13-inch entertainment screen. You also get 13 inches of width and 38 inches of pitch. The cabin is separated by walls and not just partitions, 
making the cabin look more stylish, private, and exclusive. Seats in Air France Premium Economy have leg rests and foot rests, which not only make you more comfortable, but also allow you to stretch your legs. When it comes to design, the seats you'll see in the Economy class are not that different from the ones you will find in the Premium Economy class. However, aesthetics aside, Air France's Premium Economy seats offer more legroom, wider seats, fewer seats across the cabin, bigger and adjustable headrests adjustable reading lamps, water bottle holders, and drink trays between the seats. Speaking of storage, Air France offers enough storage compartments where you can keep your luggage and belongings. There are overhead bins on the sides of the aircraft down to the middle of the cabin, so there's more than enough space to handle everyone's luggage, including your carry-on bags. There is also a seat back pocket where you can secure your personal items like your wallets, laptop, phone, and so on. Now that you have settled down and are ready to fly, it's high time we discuss the amenities you will enjoy on Air France's Premium Economy. To start with, the airline doesn't provide any pre-departure beverages or hot towels as you see some airlines offer in their Premium Economy. However, as you approach your seat, you will find a larger, cloth-covered feather pillows and fleece blankets. You will also find a bottle of water on your seat during boarding to keep you hydrated throughout your flight. Once everyone has settled in, you will see the flight attendants handing out the amenity kit to premium economy passengers. The comfort kit includes an eye mask to give you sound sleep, socks to keep your feet warm, a toothbrush and toothpaste, earplugs, and sanitary earpiece covers for the headset. Economy passengers, on the other hand, only receive an eye mask, while business class passengers receive a bigger kit that also includes Clarins products. Air France's amenity kit for premium economy passengers is very basic. Let's not forget the food and drinking service on Air France. How does the airline's food services in the premium economy compare to the airline's economy class? Well, in a nutshell for me, the food on Air France premium economy is not that great and is enough to make you reconsider the upgrade. When it comes to food in Air France premium economy, you don't experience any major step up from the economy class, or let's say at most, the meal in the premium economy is a slight step up from the economy. Even though you are paying twice the economy class fares, premium economy passengers on Air France are served pretty much the same meal as folks in the economy class. The airline offers no catering or presentation upgrade for premium economy travelers. The main courses are the same. In fact, the meals are even served on the economy meal tray. However, premium economy passengers are served with cloth napkins and glassware. Yet, that's too low for an upgrade if you ask me. So, the airline decided to add something to spice up their food services in the premium economy. Premium economy travelers are presented with an appetizer that originally belonged to their business class menu. Everything in your meal will be served on a single tray, although with metal cutlery and glassware, as opposed to plastic in economy. Nevertheless, these details will make your meal feel like an economy meal even though you are flying premium economy. If you care about little details like these and food service is one of the reasons you're considering an upgrade, you should rethink your options before deciding to upgrade. If you have special dietary requirements or do not eat certain foods for one reason or the other, Air France has got you covered. Whether you are a vegetarian or do not eat certain meals, some meals will suit your taste. The beverage service in Air France Premium Economy includes still and sparkling water, red or white wine, champagne, tomato juice, Sprite, and Coke. In true French fashion, all passengers flying Air France regardless of the cabin enjoy free champagne. However, there may be a slight difference in the quality of the champagne. For example, business class passengers are served bottles like Teitinger Brut Reserve, which cost up to $60. Premium economy class and economy passengers are served a less expensive champagne, such as the Panier, which sells for 19 bucks. In other words, economy passengers and premium economy passengers receive the same brand of champagne. But that's not all. Economy passengers and premium economy passengers are treated to the same beverage list. For flights that last more than eight and a half hours, you can find a cart with drinks like wine, champagne, and other alcoholic beverages and snacks in one of the economy class areas, and you can help yourself. This means the food and drink service offered in the premium economy is almost the same as in economy class. 
However, it is important to note that the airline has introduced two new meals to its premium economy. On December 15th, 2023, Air France announced that they had added two signature meals, including a vegetarian option. The two meals are the salmon risotto with orzo pasta, wild dill, and lemon sauce, and the trophy pasta bake with porcini mushrooms and hazelnuts. When we try it out, you'll be the first to know. Air France's in-flight entertainment is worth checking out. You get a personal large entertainment screen that is easy to navigate. You can easily swipe through the user-friendly and responsive screen to choose your favorite TV show or movie. The airline's in-flight entertainment offers a decent selection of new Hollywood movies, TV shows, music and games to keep you entertained. The best thing about Air France's entertainment system is the availability of new movies and TV shows, unlike some airlines with old movies. You also get a number of both French and American TV shows. You are provided with a noise-canceling headphone. While the headphones do not necessarily block out the noise completely, they do a great job of reducing the noise around you. Although the entertainment system is compatible with headphones, you can easily link your wireless headphones to the system for better sound. So, you might want to use your wireless headphones rather than the airline-provided ones. As you settle in for entertainment, you may need Wi-Fi to catch up with your mail and stay connected with people on the ground. Air France offers Wi-Fi services you may want to utilize. Text messaging on Air France is free, but if you need to do more than that, you will have to purchase any of the other Wi-Fi options available. Text messaging plus one hour of internet access goes for $9, while text messaging for the entire flight duration goes for around 20 bucks. The Wi-Fi services work, but keep in mind that you are thousands of feet above the ground, so the network may get spotty and slow throughout. Now that we've talked about the service, food, and extras provided by Air France Premium Economy, let's focus on the key factor, the costs. The prices for this service depend on the type of cabin and the route you choose. Considering the added comfort in premium economy, you can anticipate paying roughly double the price of an economy ticket. For example, a round trip from New York to Paris ranges from approximately 2,000 to 4,000 US dollars. Economy tickets for the same route usually cost between 1,100 to 1,900 US dollars, although the real prices can fluctuate a lot. But enough about Air France, let's continue with number two of the list, Japan Airlines. This is Japan Airlines Economy Class. And this is Japan Airlines Premium Economy Class. Now that's quite a difference, right? Considering that Japan Airlines Economy Class is arguably one of the best in the world, its Premium Economy Cabin will have quite a hard time competing against it. Let me walk you through the best features of Japan Airlines Premium Economy, so I can tell you whether it's worth it or not. Let's begin with the arrival at the airport. Japan Airlines security and boarding staff are always polite, they give you a taste of Japanese hospitality and respect. While you wait till it's time to board, being a premium economy passenger grants you access to the Sakura Lounge. It does not come as a surprise that the Sakura Lounge is modern, comfortable, and has a fast internet speed, making it a great spot to cool off before a long-haul flight. The lounge offers both Japanese and Western dishes to suit your culinary desire. You can also visit the drink stations, where you have access to both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, and extras like an espresso machine and the impressive automatic beer dispenser. It is worth noting that regular economy passengers do not have access to the Sakura Lounge. Also, passengers who just upgraded to premium economy at the airport are not granted entry to this modern lounge. Like most airlines, Japan Airlines premium economy passengers also get priority boarding. But of course, after the first and business class passengers have entered the plane. Now let's discuss the seating. You can expect a 242 or 232 seating configuration, depending on the aircraft you are flying with. The Japan Airlines premium economy seating is the real deal, with their amazingly comfortable seats. The airline is focused on giving passengers privacy. This explains why there is a center console that separates you from your neighbor. If you don't like being disturbed while traveling, Japan Airlines Premium Economy will give you a lot of privacy. The airline's premium economy seats are also one of the most spacious premium economy seats available. The distance from the back of your seat to the back of the seat in front of you is a whopping 42 inches, giving you enough space to stretch your legs without disturbing others. 42 inches of seat pitch is industry leading, 
you'll hardly find any other airline offering more legroom. To put this into perspective, the seating pitch on other popular carriers' premium economy class like British Airways and Virgin Atlantic is around 38 inches, which is 4 inches lower than Japan Airlines' seat pitch. In other words, you're getting top of the league seating pitch when flying with Japan Airlines' premium economy. Economy passengers do not enjoy this luxury though. The highest seat pitch you can get in Japan Airlines economy class is 34 inches, so that's a huge upgrade if you ask me. As I mentioned earlier, Japan Airlines is very particular about customer privacy. As a result, the shell-style seats slide forward instead of the seats reclining backward. This way, each passenger stays in their own space, and if there's a need to adjust their chair, they adjust it forward. The impressive thing about the reclining seats is that they are in a shell, which means that you won't be able to tell if the person at the front is reclining or not, as their recline doesn't intrude on your space, which is a very smart solution. To help with seat comfort when reclined, each seat is fitted with an extendable leg rest, which you can easily control using a button in the middle console. The seats also have adjustable headrests with large wings, giving you a sound sleeping posture after a stressful business meeting. Each seat is equipped with AC power outlets, USB ports, and a large tray table where you can place your food or even your laptop and prepare ahead for the meeting if you're traveling for business purposes. Now, let's talk about the amenities. When you get to your seat, you'll see a plastic bag where you'll find a pillow, blanket, headphones, slippers, and your personal amenity kit. Japan. Airlines amenity kit is basic, but still contains things that will make your journey more comfortable. In the amenity kit are items like an eye mask, earplugs, a dental kit, and a moisture mask. Unlike some airlines that give you a regular nose mask, Japan Airlines offers a moisture mask that makes the air you breathe less dry. The Sony headphones they provide do a great job of cancelling noise and providing a solid sound. Japan Airline attendants do not collect the headphones before landing, allowing you to enjoy the in-flight entertainment through arrival. While this might look like a small detail, these kind gestures are factors that make the premium economy worth it and your journey more memorable. It showcases the airline's commitment to passenger comfort and a truly enjoyable travel experience. Now, let's talk about storage. While Japan Airlines seats are comfortable and would give you some privacy, it is important to note that storing your belongings might come with a bit of hassle. The seats have a single seat back pocket that can only accommodate small belongings like wallets and maybe a laptop. If you need to store large bags, you will have to use the overhead bins which is enough to handle all premium economy bags. However, if you get stuck in the middle seat, you'll have to settle for the underseat storage area, which may not be big enough to accommodate a huge bag like the overhead bins. After settling in, the next thing on your mind is definitely food. What does the food taste like when you're flying with Japan Airlines? To start with, the airline's in-flight menu depends on your route. When it comes to the meals in Japan, Airlines Premium Economy Class, prepare to experience a blend of Japanese dishes and of course, Western meals as well. If you have ever flown in Japan Airlines economy, you'll know that their food is one of the best in the sky. In 2023, Skytrax ranked the Tokyo-based airline the fifth best airline in the world. And if you take a closer look at the stats, you'll realize that its exceptional menu was one of the things a lot of travelers liked about it. To give you an example of what is served on board, when flying to Honolulu and Kona, you can enjoy a menu created by Namei Shinobu, grand chef at French restaurant La Fervescence. On other routes, premium economy passengers can enjoy a menu devised by six finalists of the Japanese cooking show called Red. Although this sounds exciting, the food in Japan Airlines premium economy is just a bit better than the one served in the airline's economy flights. In my opinion, this appears to be one of the few cons of Japan Airlines Premium Economy. While the meal you get in their economy class is arguably one of the best you'll get in economy, you don't get much more for sitting in Premium Economy. Shortly after the airplane takes off, the attendants would hand out menus showing that only three items are available for passengers in the Premium Economy. Those three items are also available for economy passengers. In other words, both economy passengers and premium economy passengers are served almost the same thing. 
However, despite the similarity between economy class meals and premium economy meals, there are still some extra items that are not available to regular economy passengers. For example, champagne, Japanese shochu, and sparkling mineral water are only available for premium economy passengers. However, above all, one thing is certain about dining with Japan Airlines. You'll enjoy the meal, even if it's similar to the food of the economy class passengers. As you wrap up your first meal, ice creams are passed across the cabin. Between meals, premium economy passengers are served a snack. Then, few hours to the landing, a second meal is served. Japan Airlines premium economy meals are typically served with metal cutlery. If you prefer to eat in a traditional Japanese way, wooden chopsticks are available to suit your needs. Another subtle, interesting experience you might like is that each meal comes with instructions detailing the best ways to mix them. This will be very helpful for passengers who are just trying out any of the airline's Japanese meals for the first time. And if you have special dietary requirements or do not eat some kinds of food due to religious beliefs, rest assured that Japan Airlines has got you covered. The airline offers an extensive array of special meals that will meet your dietary meals. Beyond the meals, Japan Airlines' premium economy beverage menu is impressive. Just like most airlines, premium economy passengers have access to wine, beer, seki, plum wine, and non-alcoholic drinks like juices, coffee, tea, and soft drinks. In addition, Japan Airlines' premium economy passengers can enjoy Japanese shochu or a mini bottle of Volero champagne, which retails for about 40 bucks for a 750 milliliter bottle. Now let's talk about staying connected with the in-flight entertainment. Japan Airlines' in-flight entertainment system is delivered via a 12.1-inch touch panel with a responsive user interface. Although the screen cannot tilt as you see in other airlines, the truth is that you don't need it to. Recall that the seats are in a shell. You can drag your fingers through the screen to choose from the limited variety of movies and shows available. But if you find that inconvenient, there is also a handheld controller you can use to achieve the same purpose. Japan Airlines' in-flight entertainment system offers a number of Japanese and international movies, music, ebooks, and games, complemented with Sony noise-canceling headphones I mentioned earlier. Japan Airlines' Wi-Fi service is powered by T-Mobile, the third largest wireless carrier in the United States. Wi-Fi service is available on all international Japan Airlines flights for a fee, with plans ranging from $10 for one hour to $20 for the whole duration of the flight. Another essential feature worth mentioning is service. The Japanese culture is known for its hospitality and respect. When you fly with a Japanese airline, like Japan Airlines, be sure to experience one of the most excellent and hospitable crews in action. The Japan Airlines cabin crew are outstanding. It's no surprise why they are one of the best in the world. Even though the attendants don't walk around the cabin to offer refills or check on passengers, they are available at the touch of a button. If you press the call button, a flight attendant will appear at your seat in less than one minute, giving passengers the privacy to rest during long-haul flights and at the same time available to meet the needs of their passengers. They are also happy to assist you with your luggage during boarding and are swift to help out when you request a drink or snack mid-flight. Japan Airlines also offers some extras like over-the-counter medicine. While some airlines may be reluctant to hand over medicines, Japan Airlines will provide travelers with items like analgesics, rhinitis relief spray, abrasion healing spray, bandages, and motion sickness medicine if you need them. Now that we've discussed the luxuries that come with this upgrade, it's high time we discussed an important factor, the price. The prices of fares in Japan Airlines' premium economy depend on the route as well as travel dates, but usually the cost of Japan Airlines' premium economy can be almost twice that of their basic economy class. And finally, at the top of the list is Lufthansa. Are you thinking of upgrading to Lufthansa premium economy, but not sure if it's worth it? Let's dive into what this upgrade can offer you. Stepping into Lufthansa's premium economy cabin, the first thing you'll notice is the spaciousness that greets you. Let's break down the key features of these seats. Each one offers a generous 38 inches of pitch, which is a notable step up from the standard economy class, providing you with much needed leg room. The seat width ranges between 18 to 19 inches and comes with an eight inch recline, a combination that ensures comfort, especially on long haul flights. 
These dimensions make a real difference, offering 50% more space on all sides compared to their economy counterparts. In addition, every seat is equipped with its own cocktail table at the armrest. This little touch adds a layer of convenience, perfect for your pre-flight drink or a mid-flight cup of coffee. The seats also include a footrest, a small addition that significantly enhances comfort, particularly when you're trying to catch some sleep. Lufthansa maintains consistency in their premium economy seat design across all aircraft. This uniformity includes significant recline, an adjustable headrest, and a large touchscreen for in-flight entertainment. And here's a small but crucial detail. The tray tables are located in the armrests, a design choice that maximizes your personal space. Privacy and additional space are key factors that set Lufthansa's premium economy apart from its economy class. The cabin's layout, predominantly in a 242 configuration, not only allows for extra legroom, about six inches more, but also ensures a sense of privacy, especially for window and aisle seats. Passengers have frequently remarked on the sense of spaciousness, with many highlighting the comfort of the wider seats and ample legroom, a boon for taller travelers or those who simply appreciate more space. Another aspect that passengers appreciate is the dedicated armrests. Gone are the days of awkwardly sharing or negotiating armrest space with your neighbor. However, it's not all perfect. Some travelers have noted that the recline of the seat in front can feel intrusive, encroaching on their personal space. While this is a common issue in many premium economy cabins, it's something to consider if personal space is a high priority for you. Lufthansa's premium economy class takes a functional approach to additional services. Upon seating, passengers are welcomed with immediate access to water, conveniently placed between the seats. A notable advantage comes in the form of the luggage allowance, especially when comparing premium economy to economy on Lufthansa flights. In economy class, passengers are allowed one bag weighing up to 51 pounds or 23 kilograms. However, opting for premium economy provides a significant upgrade, allowing travelers to check in two bags, each weighing up to 51 pounds, a notable improvement. This means you can pack more without worrying about exceeding the weight limit. The in-flight entertainment system features a 12-inch screen, boasting a wide selection of movies, series, and even live TV along with the option to download current newspapers and magazines onto personal devices. However, certain aspects like airport check-in and boarding procedures mirror those of economy class, lacking the exclusive queues or priority boarding that some other airlines offer for their premium economy passengers. The same holds true for bathroom facilities, where premium economy passengers share amenities with the economy class. This shared use can sometimes lead to less than ideal conditions, especially on longer flights. The Lufthansa Premium Economy Amenity Kit strikes a balance between basic and functional. Contained within a modest package, you'll find essentials like an eye mask, socks, a toothbrush and toothpaste, a refreshing towel, and earplugs. While these items cover the basics for a comfortable journey, the kit doesn't extend far beyond what is typically offered in economy class. For instance, the absence of additional items such as creams or lip balms, which some passengers might have experienced in other airlines economy classes, might be a slight letdown for those expecting a more upgraded kit in premium economy. The kit's simplicity, although practical, doesn't necessarily elevate the experience to a level distinct from the regular economy offering. Now let's explore the delightful world of in-flight cuisine, where convenience meets sophistication. When it comes to dining high above the clouds, Lufthansa's premium economy class brings a touch of sophistication to your plate. Imagine starting your journey with a welcome menu and a refreshing bottle of mineral water already waiting for you. It's a small yet thoughtful touch that sets the tone for the culinary experience ahead. The main courses, inspired by Central European cuisines, aim to please with their authenticity. On flights over six and a half hours, you're treated to either dinner or breakfast. And on even longer journeys, a hot dish adds warmth to your meal. The highlight, the creative desserts, promising a sweet finish. Premium economy shines with its beverage service. The welcome drink, like an orange juice cocktail with mint, sets a pleasant tone. The range of drinks, including alcoholic options, is impressive and freely available. Economy class also offers a good selection of beverages, but without the special welcome drink or the more exclusive alcoholic options of premium economy. Passenger reviews give us real insights. 
In premium economy, meals like vegetarian lasagna and scrambled eggs receive praise, yet there are mixed feelings about the food quality overall. The wine selection, in particular, has faced criticism. Notably, premium economy offers the same food choices as economy, but with enhanced utensils, adding a touch of elegance. However, environmental consciousness raises concerns, as both classes still use a significant amount of plastic and packaging. Lufthansa's premium economy offers a solid entertainment experience, though it's not without its quirks. The system boasts an extensive selection, including a wide array of Hollywood, European and Bollywood movies, TV shows, video games and music. Additionally, passengers have access to live TV channels like CNN and Euronews, which is a nice touch for staying updated during the flight. The screen size is adequate, ensuring a comfortable viewing experience. In premium economy, each seat boasts a USB port for device charging, but it's worth noting that some passengers have reported occasional malfunctions. While this can be a minor inconvenience, rest assured that there's a backup option, universal electrical outlets located at the bottom of the seats. However, their placement might not always be as convenient as the USB ports. Comparatively, in economy class, each seat also comes with a personal entertainment system and similar content offerings. When it comes to Wi-Fi connectivity, Lufthansa's premium economy offers a service, but the pricing has traditionally been a bit steep. For instance, the basic chat package is priced at $7, offering limited speed and access for the duration of the flight, with more comprehensive packages reaching up to 31 for higher data limits and speeds. However, significant enhancements are on the horizon for Lufthansa's onboard passenger experience, particularly regarding Wi-Fi services. Lufthansa is introducing free in-flight messaging across its European network on short and medium haul flights, primarily operated by Airbus A320 series aircraft. This service, available in both premium economy and economy classes, allows the use of popular messaging apps like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and WeChat, and uniquely includes photo sharing capabilities. Furthermore, from 2024, the cost for streaming quality onboard Wi-Fi is reduced by nearly 50%. The revised prices will be around $10 for flights under 90 minutes and $13 for longer flights. Part of a $2 billion investment to enhance the overall travel experience. In light of these upcoming changes, the value proposition of upgrading to premium economy on Lufthansa, particularly concerning Wi-Fi services, becomes more attractive. The consistency in Wi-Fi service and pricing between premium economy and economy class remains same, but the enhanced features and reduced costs will likely improve the overall experience. If we talk about the demographics, Lufthansa's premium economy class is designed to cater to a diverse range of travelers, each with their own specific needs and preferences. Business travelers, who often seek comfort and productivity during their journey, find the additional legroom and enhanced connectivity options particularly beneficial, especially on long-haul flights where working or resting comfortably is crucial. Leisure travelers, including families and solo adventurers, also find value in premium economy. The extra space and improved in-flight entertainment options make longer flights more enjoyable, a key consideration for those on vacation or exploring new destinations. The additional luggage allowance is a significant perk for families or those traveling with more baggage. For overnight flights, the increased seat recline and added comfort features like the footrest and adjustable headrests in premium economy ensure a more restful sleep making it a favorable choice for all types of travelers seeking a more relaxed and comfortable journey. Passenger reviews of Lufthansa's premium economy service reveal a mixed bag of experiences. While some travelers have praised the comfort and amenities such as extra legroom, good food and punctuality, others have faced significant challenges, particularly with ground services and baggage handling. Instances of lost or delayed luggage and poor customer service have been a recurring theme in several reviews. This has led to frustration and disappointment for some passengers, overshadowing the in-flight experience. Additionally, issues with the airline's responsiveness to compensation requests for lost luggage have been highlighted. However, positive notes include the appreciation of the extra space and overall comfort of the premium economy seats, as well as the quality of the meals served. As we've delved deep into the world of Lufthansa's premium economy, it's intriguing to see how it stacks up against its peers like Finnair and Air France.
Each airline brings its unique flavor to the premium economy experience. Finnair's premium economy is all about exclusivity, evident in its small, three-row cabin that promises privacy. This contrasts with Lufthansa's larger cabin space, but shares the ethos of providing more personal space. Finnair's seats, featuring an 8-inch recline and waterfall footrest, aim for comfort, much like Lufthansa's focus on legroom and recline. However, Lufthansa's uniform seat design across its fleet brings a consistency that Finnair's varied configurations may not match. Turning to Air France, their premium economy boosts the passenger experience with priority privileges like Sky Priority Access, a perk not emphasized in Lufthansa's offering. Both Lufthansa and Air France offer a generous two-baggage allowance, leveling the playing field in terms of luggage convenience. Air France's seats are slightly wider, but Lufthansa counters with its cocktail table and adjustable headrests, underscoring its commitment to passenger comfort. While Finnair focuses on an exclusive, intimate setting and Air France on enhanced boarding and check-in experiences, Lufthansa's strength lies in its blend of space, consistent seat design, and practical comforts. Each airline, in its own way, elevates the premium economy experience, offering distinct choices for discerning travelers. The experience seems to vary greatly, with some passengers willing to recommend Lufthansa's premium economy while others advise against it due to their negative experiences, particularly with ground services and luggage handling. Wrapping up our exploration of Lufthansa's premium economy, it's clear that the decision to upgrade is a personal one, influenced by individual needs and circumstances. The enhanced comfort, extra legroom, and amenities like improved luggage allowance make premium economy a compelling choice for those who prioritize these aspects of travel such as older passengers or taller individuals. On the other hand, for travelers who are budget conscious, the decision might hinge on finding the right deal or using miles to make the most of their investment. Premium economy offers a significant step up from economy without the steep price of business class, fitting well for those who desire a bit more comfort and space.